Welcome to this or that video series, produced by UFIFAS, Extension Pinellas County. This series helps citizens and visitors correctly identify commonly mistaken species of plants and animals. Today, we are going to explore two similar toads, the native southern toad and the invasive cane toad. Here are a few tips to help you the next time you encounter one of them. When differentiating between these two toads, it's important to note their overall size, the presence or absence of ridges on the top of their head, the shape of the paratoid glands on their shoulders, and their calls. Paratoid glands can easily be observed for identification purposes. These glands can secrete toxins used as a defense mechanism to deter predators. The native southern toads have a tan to reddish brown, dark brown, or gray body with darker spots marked on their back. Each of those dark spots on their back will have a few words. Our native southern toad only grows to be one and a half to three inches long. Looking at their paratoid glands located on their shoulders, note the shape of these glands. They are oval shaped. Near these glands, you can also observe the presence of two distinct ridges on the top of their head, just behind their eyes. Now let's take a look at the much larger invasive cane toad. They have similar coloration and warty appearance to the southern toad, but cane toads are usually four to six inches long and can be up to nine and a half inches. Their paratoid glands are also located on their shoulders, but are much larger and triangular in shape. You will also note the absence of knobs or ridges on the top of their head. Another great way to identify these frogs is by the sounds they make. So let's take a listen at what those sounds are. That was a southern toad. They sound like a combination of a hum and a whistle. And that was a cane toad. They make a slow, melodic trill sound. So the next time you see these toads, remember to note their overall size, presence or absence of the ridges on the top of their head, the shape of their paratoid glands, and the sounds they make. Thank you for joining us and stay tuned for more episodes from our This or That series from your UF IFAS Extension Pinellas County Office.